Here we've got a typical Queenslander and you can see it's a house on concrete stumps with a timber floor. As we get underneath the floor we can see uh, some form of damage here to the underside of the flooring. Now this flooring is made of a timber called hoop pine and you can see that uh, this damage up here where you've got just a just very light damage really to the underside of the board and this sort of black cigar shaped little pellets in here are present. When you have this combined with this sort of damage you know that this has been caused by dry wood termites. Okay, so dry wood termites are different from different from subterranean termites that come from the ground these guys actually fly in. So they'll find small cracks and holes and they will fly into the dam into that hole and create a very small colony with maybe just 200 or 300 termites. And they do damage just like this. So it might be just one board that's affected and it's not really badly affected. This board doesn't even need to be replaced but I would recommend strengthening it by putting some timber just between this floor joist and the one next door just to strengthen it up. And you can see that the boards either side are in good condition. And in fact, it's just this one board in this area that's been affected and that's very common for dry wood termites. The majority of pest inspection reports in Australia actually exclude comment on dry wood termite damage because it is so difficult to locate.